all right welcome back to the channel guys now this is the madden series y'all voting on it and the atlanta falcons did win so here we're in the off season i pretty much just simulated the whole off season and here we are retired players there's a lot of retired players going man tom brady drew Brees, philip rivers matt shaw andrew whitworth the lsu tiger and the list goes on and man this game is so in depth it's crazy man terrell suck Aaron Rodgers retired. Greg Olson, Sadie Lewis, Delaney Walker, Julian Edelman. You, the list goes on. Big Ben. So the Packers, you know, uh, well, I don't know really know about Jordan Love. So we're gonna have to see as far as in this game. And uh, Pittsburgh, you know, uh, Dwayne Haskins not on the red on, on the Steelers. So we we gonna have to see what they do now in the off season. We got quite a few players to, to sign. Some people will get signed. And, you know, some people just will will be let go in the free agency. That's just the way the business goes. And that's just the way the NFL goes. So, uh, it's not a key players like this guy. He's going to stay on the roster because he can block. So, we, we got a receiving tight end. And I hate nerds. So, definitely don't need two. So, we definitely need that blocking tight end. So, he has a little bit of, of both. You know what I mean? So we're gonna get the resign players. Young Way Cool, even though his rating is, you know, not good, but we gonna keep him, man. We're gonna give him a two-year deal, maybe three. Or yeah, we're gonna give him a three-year deal, man. We're gonna get that leg right. Now, as far as these two, we're going to keep both of them. And uh Ricardo Allen, we will trade him so that way we can move Dwayne Casey to free safety and keep Keanu Neal as strong safety. So we just gonna have to draft a strong safety to back up Keanu Neal. You know, he's been injured prone, you know, the last couple of years. So we definitely gonna need to draft one. And we definitely, we all know what Dwayne Casey could do. I mean, KZ before he got injured. And now Hawkins, you know, I was thinking they're looking nice. It, it's definitely looking nice. We just need a depth. And you know, special team players, you know what I mean? So, and sometimes those special team players can turn into, you know, full time starters. You know what I mean? So, we definitely had to go, go ahead and take care of these two. Yeah, we need that thumper, man. We definitely need that thumper. Keanu O'Neill is just that, he's just that person in, in the back end of the secondary. So, we're going to go ahead and get him a two year deal. You know, to basically prove himself, man, to show that he can do what he can do before the injuries. Like I said, Ricardo Allen, we definitely will trade this guy. He's getting up there in age, yeah. Might as well get some value out of him, you know, while he, <laughs> the value is still there. Now, we're going to go ahead and, and let Denard go. And that's going to leave us with four cornerbacks. And we definitely will address that in the draft. Outside linebacker, Deion Jones. I mean, middle linebacker. We're going to keep Buchanan, man. We might slide him to left outside linebacker to give us a combination of the fastest, the fastest linebacker core, you know, in the NFL. So we might have to address somebody behind Deion Jones. We will address that in the draft. Now, the interior defensive line, I feel like we are straight on defensive tackle, defense end. I feel like we are bar far none one of the best if not the best in this game in the interior line. look at grady jerry 99 davison 89 this is crazy and we drafted marlon davison last year out of auburn so we have the depth most definitely defense in we, we are pretty decent now the ratings in this game is, is crazy it's just the way that the person who did this, you know, mod, this, this, that's just the way it is, guys. And as far as draft, I mean, these rookies are like 75 and above. It's hot. The highest I've ever seen is like 91 coming out as a rookie. So, yeah, that's crazy. Now, Alex Mack, the veteran of the group, we going to go ahead and get him a, a one-year deal. So, that, 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 that way, next year, we'll be able to address, you know, the, the captain of the offensive line. So Curry, we're going to go ahead and let him go get some depth behind uh, Matthews. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and sign Lee. We're going to go ahead and sign him back. Like I said, we don't really need two, you know, receiving threats. We already got that. And plus what we have at receivers. So we're going to go ahead and get him a two-year deal. Now, this, we all know this, this receiving group. Powell, we might go ahead and let him go. Now, 
Treadwell, we gonna give him a one, maybe two year deal to see if he can prove himself. Cause we know Julio is getting up there in age. And of course, Calvin Ridley will take over that starting role. So we definitely need somebody that can really add depth behind Calvin Ridley whenever Julio Jones to start retire. Fullback, we gonna go ahead and keep Smith. Now, running back situation it is, I know if we sign Todd Gurley, he's gonna want the arm in the leg so that way we gonna go ahead and slap the franchise tag on this guy give him one more year to see if he can prove it so you know what i mean so next year if he prove himself hey if he don't you know it, we can always draft a, a, a running back now quarterback situation that's gonna be our, our, our most need <laughs> you know what i mean matt ryan get up there in eight so we def definitely definitely gonna address that in the draft and like I say, free agency, nobody really catches our eye. Kalen Balaj is a great running back, but like I said, we, we have, you know, what we need at the running back position. So I feel like there's no need. So I feel like we really don't have to address that, that situation as far as running back. And we might, get, we definitely will get somebody in the kick return game through the draft. Um, <laughs> like a Tavon Austin is tempting, but like I say, he's getting up there in age. You know, we want somebody cheap. You know what I mean? So we definitely will address that in the draft. Uh, the only thing is that we need to address in the draft, like I say, is quarterback. You know, that kick return, you know, receiver. Definitely the offensive line. Most definitely. You can never go wrong with drafting an offensive lineman. Um maybe an outside linebacker, middle linebacker, cornerback, and strong safety. So I believe I feel like we have some holes to fill, and we definitely will address that through the NFL draft. And see, it's a lot of decent players in this free agency, but a lot of them either too up there in age or they want too much money for, for you know, their ratings. So it, it's, it's definitely not worth it to where spending all that money on somebody. Well, we can get somebody, you know, equally as best or probably better. Now, we going to go ahead and work out Justin Fields, man. Trevor Lawrence running a 449. That is crazy. I mean, that is crazy. Justin Fields running a 4 4. I don't see neither one of them running the 4 4s. Like, I, I'm liking the way he's moving in the pocket. And the way this drill is, it, I can tell this is an all Madden. Now, how many, you know, uh, little machines there it is. The more machines I have, the difficult. I, I, so I can tell this is on all man. So this bring back memories doing this, man. So you got to avoid the the uh, shooting balls, no homo. Uh, and you got to throw to the whatever highlighted receiver is, receiver dummy is. So it, it's definitely challenging, most definitely. You can see, we are moving in the pocket, man. We got hit right there one time, but it, it's no big deal. But I'm, I'm definitely feeling definitely feeling this now as far as you know the import draft class we import you really can't change you know how you could do on ncaa 14 where you can change it from freshman sophomore junior senior ps2 days you can't do that you know what i mean i'm, I'm liking dylan moses right here i'm definitely liking it maybe a first round maybe a second round pick we will draft this guy man most definitely all right, now we can go ahead and skip on ahead to this NFL draft. Now, like I said, coming into this, we already know what we want, man. And I hate that. That's, that's the one thing, man. It's like Trevor Lawrence in this game in the NCAA 07, he's white. And I, when I did it on here, it's like he's black. It's like I don't feel like going through that whole process because you got to simulate two seasons because he's a sophomore. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to do that. With the first pick, of course, the Jaguars went ahead and selected Trevor Lawrence. Now, this is the, like the real draft order as far as the first round. And we go ahead and picked up Justin Fields. So like in real life, I went ahead and, you know, basically organized the whole first round according to real life first round. So that's definitely a good look. Our uh, first pick, as y'all saw, Justin Fields. I'm curious to see what this guy rating is. I'm really curious because, like I say, these ratings for these rookies coming in are like, it's crazy, man. I'm telling y'all, it's crazy. 
Now this first round going by pretty slow. Now on our second pick, I already know, already know who we going after. If he's still on the board, even though he's projected to be like second or third round, it's like, and, and another thing, a lot of these guys in the draft are already in, you know, the updated roster. I, I, I can't help that, you know what I mean? I definitely can't help that. But like I say, we need defense, uh, off, offensive line help. And with this guy being a top 10 pick still in the second round, we might go ahead and, you know, jump on that, man. Because we we need, you know, protection for Justin Fields in the future. In the third round, hopefully, hopefully I'm crossing my fingers. Dylan Moses is still there. If he is, we're going to take this guy. And he is still is. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to go ahead and pull the trigger. Man, we got the fastest linebacker group in the NFL. No doubt about it. Like I said, you rolling through. You're like, how's that guy? He already in the game. It's it's just the way the imported draft classes are, man. It's just the way it is. Now, we do need left guard help. So, we might go ahead and pull the trigger on one of these two guards right here. We need that protection. We definitely need that protection. Now, for our third round selection, we gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on Luke Campbell. He definitely fits what we wanna do in the future, so. And now, for the fourth round selection, like I said, we need that, that back end help. You know what I mean? We keeping Keanu Neal at strong safety and moving KZ to free safety because we are pretty much gonna, gonna trade Ricardo Allen. You know what I mean? So he's getting up there in age and we got value for him at a 91 overall. So we're going to trade him and, and we're going to go from there. Now, as far as strong safety, Brendan White is, is definitely looking like the selection. Hopefully he take he takes over that role when Keanu Neal, you know, whatever he decided to call it quits. You know what I mean? Now, we got another fourth round selection. Now, Trey Brown is our selection, the cornerback out of uh, Oklahoma. Nice speed, nice size. And right now, we're just breezing through the selections, man. <clears throat> Deer King, I can't believe he is undrafted, man. That is crazy. So, we decided to pull the trigger on him. Now, final selection is Hewitt. And that will do it for our draft selection. Now, the signings, man. We're going to go ahead and look at the ratings. Gerard Hewitt, our seventh round selection out of Virginia Tech, actually. <clears throat> kind of that short, kind of that Aaron Donald kind of role, but here's his stats. You know, I was expecting, uh, I was expecting a, a lot less speed in that. Expecting a little bit more strength in that, but he, he definitely fits the bill as far as depth at the defensive tackle position. Now, for quarterback selection, Derrick King, 71 overall, they disrespected that speed and the orange street thing. Yo, he, he's going to be our, our backup, you know what I mean? And as time goes on, <clears throat> training camps and preseason and all that, he definitely will get better. Now, our kick return specialist, man, Jeff Thomas out of Miami. This kid has wheels. Definitely, he's definitely going to find some playing time on kick return and punt return. Also a receiver. So be on the lookout for him. <clears throat> you know, Trey Brown, I like this kid a lot. 5'10", 186 out of Oklahoma, 82 overall. I told y'all, these ratings for these rookies are absolutely crazy. And he got really good tackling for a cornerback. 57 strength, so that, that definitely going to help us out. <clears throat> now, a strong safety that's going to take over Keanu Neal, you know, decide to call it off or call it quits is, is Brendan White. Not the ideal speed. He need to bump up that speed. Nice tackling, nice acceleration. Definitely a nice size for a cornerback. Fourth round selection out of Ohio State. I'm liking that six. 83 overall. I'm just not looking at that. All right, Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell. Not the Luke Campbell that y'all thinking. Y'all young folks. Probably the original Luke Campbell, man. But nice strength. Definitely need to work on that pass blocking and run blocking. Nice acceleration. But yeah, back to Laquilla, Luke Campbell, man, the, the Miami rapper. <laughs> but Dylan Moses, man, I'm excited about Dylan Moses, man. He going to get some playing time. Coming in at 82 overall. 84 speed. Was expecting a little bit more speed, but that's okay. A 95 agility. 95 acceleration. Yo, that is crazy. 
That's a steal in the third round. A left tackle, Cole Van. Lee, he's going to take over. I'm going to slide him over to that right tackle position. Opposite of Jake Matthews. Coming in at 77 overall. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Definitely liking what I'm saying. In training camp where you can practice drills and put points on players. So, yeah. He's going to end up nice. Now, the first overall. Now, first draft pick, man. I know he's going to want that guap, man. I knew it, man. That is crazy. He's coming in at 87. 90 throw power, 83 accuracy, 88 speed, 69 carrying, 71 awareness. That is crazy. 95 agility. That's crazy, y'all. That is absolutely crazy. So at the end of the video, man, I'll catch y'all on the next video. And I'm out.